Amid growing calls for police reform, a local congressman is pushing to end no-knock warrants. That's right. Chicago Representative Danny Davis is joining us now to discuss the reforms he is pushing for. Congressman, so good of you to join us this evening. We, you know, recall vividly how Breonna Taylor's story shocked our consciousness. And then here in Chicago, Anjanette Young, um, what would you like to see move forward as we talk about this forum that you are creating? Well, let me just say that concerns between police or policing and citizens in this country has been going on for a long time. And so it's not really a new issue. It's not a new concern. And we think, I think, the ministers and the West Side Branch NAACP and the rest of those who put this forum together we think that it's time to keep looking. How do we change the relationships that have existed between law enforcement and especially the African-American community, but all communities, quite frankly. But we put in a focus because the treatment has not been the same, has not been equal. For example, there are policies and practices that take place in some communities that are very different than what takes place in other communities. And so at a national level, local levels, we're trying to change it. And, 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 and it's something that some of us have been working on for a long time. Congressman, you've been working on it for a long time, but what makes you think that it'll change now? Well, let me tell you, the atmosphere and environment in this country is so exciting right now. I mean, we just went through an impeachment of the president. We've just helped expose the kind of systemic racism that has existed and continues to exist in our country. We've taken a look at the Constitution, and one of the things that we look at is that part that say we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men, meaning hopefully all women, all people are created equal. And, and so equal treatment, we've seen the issue raised, Black Lives Matter and other groups have helped raise the issue to a point that it's at one of its highest heights right now. There are more people talking about it. There are more people who understand it. There are more people who recognize the need for change. I mean, we, we see, even with the spotlight, we see law enforcement personnel who continue to do the same things that they've been doing all the time. Well, Congressman, this all brings us to this uh, congress congressional inquiry that you're hosting tomorrow afternoon, 1 o'clock, at New Mount Pilgrim Baptist Church. It is going to be both in person and Zoom, so we wanted to let everybody know that you are organizing that. Sir, it was great to talk to you this evening. Thank you for your time and, and best wishes there, and, and take care next week at the inauguration. Thank stay you so much, well. and stay safe. You too. All right, we'll stick around this evening because Aaron Ivory.